Hello and welcome to Bedrock Breakout, a Minecraft escape room map created by these two wonderful people right here. If I, their names don't overlap, Scavenger X101 and The Assassin. Alright, uh, not much more to be said, I think, before starting. Stand on lectern to start the map, okay? Oh, tutorial, okay. If you made it on move and have to reset the map, type slash kill, okay. Tutorial level. In this map, your goal is to escape. You have to utilize blocks and items well and find ways to escape. For example, breaking this lectern for an extra block is a good strategy. Good luck. I'll take the book. And we'll take the lectern as well. My guess is that given this is a tutorial, I just have to use the lectern to come over here. Okay, level one. Oh, I can see the name tags for the creators over there. Okay, what do we have here? We have lava rolling by. And my guess is my goal is to get up there. Alright. Do I, is there something in the tutorial that's, go, that's gonna help me? I don't think there's a way for me to break that block that allows me to like get it. Don't tell me we're at level one and I'm already like stumped. Wait, wait, is there something back here that I can like right click maybe? It's not, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't appear to be going over a chest of any sort. No chest that I can reach here. Okay, touching that does just set me on fire. Okay, no benefits there that I'm seeing. There is something right above the gold block there, but I'm wondering if I should be holding off on that. Might turn the music down real fast. All right. What am I looking for? Okay, so... Can I break this in a way where I end up picking it up? Okay, okay, they've built it so you can't do the double block lectern trick. Okay, they, they were prepared for this. Because lecterns, they have collision on like the bottom of them, so sometimes you can use them as a double block to jump. It looks like they were prepared for such shenanigans. So I, I can't bring that in with me. I think it obviously has to do with the lava here. Okay, okay, good. They didn't put anything in my inventory immediately. I'm also glad they gave you saturation. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, <laughs> yes. I, oh, why did that take me so long? Yeah, you just do the fire jump. Okay, level two. Hidden containers are scattered around the map, so look carefully. Okay. Okay, there's a hopper there. Piston, trap chest, feet. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Okay. And we have a netherite block. I actually don't even see where the escape is here. There's no, like... Is there, like, a hole here? Um, I think the description said not to break netherite blocks as it would break some puzzles. What can you do with... Okay, it's a trap chest specifically. Okay, a trap chest can push a piston. Can pistons push netherite blocks? Oh, is that simple? I, I, I suppose I'll hold on to the feet then? Cool. I'll go I'll move on to level three. Okay, there's a string right here first and foremost. I'm going to grab that. Okay, we got a trade with me, guy. Okay, there's a thing up there. Bedrock for three ladders. Okay, there, there's definitely more to this. And it's all down here. 
anywhere there might be a hidden compartment. Oh, there's more string there. Um, is there is there like a is there a secret bedrock crafting recipe in this map? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I think I was supposed to come down with both the chest and the piston. I'm dumb. All right. I have a feeling I know what I'm supposed to do now. I I I was dumb and did not pick up all the blocks at my disposal out of level 2. That is my own bad. Yeah, because once you place this and you place that, you can get both of these blocks back. And look, just like that, I have another block going down. Oh, and there's string here. I missed the string. Wait, there is more string. That means that actually, once we grab the two string down there, we have enough string to make a wool. I think it was like up here or something, wasn't it? The last piece of string that was just hanging out somewhere. So there was another piece of wool just hanging out down here, I think. Or another piece of string. There it is. Found it. I, I don't want to immediately say this is the solution, but this looks like the solution to me. There we go. That gets us to level four. Anything above that chest? Nope. Okay, I got one shot at something here. Okay, I see what I've got one shot at. I don't know what it'll do for me. Okay, okay, I see. I see. Do I get my arrow back? Come on, just 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 let me forward. Come on. You know you wanna let me forward? There we go. Level five. Hi Gary. What can I do you for? Okay, I can get eleven iron nuggets. I already know what I'm doing with this, I think. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna make me a chain. And then I think with those two items alone, I'm gonna do a quick check for wool again. I th yeah, I think with, with those two items alone. Oh, ooh, hi there. Grabbing onto that for later. Yeah, I, 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 I can just I can just leave. Oh. Oh no. No, did I place it wrong and now I have to restart? Cuz I'm not going to get this back, am I? Yep. Well, see you guys back here. All right, we're back to the room. Hey Gary, give me that again. I mean, it's the exact amount of nuggets needed for this so I'm pretty sure that's what's necessary here I just need to be smarter about how I place things down and so I'm gonna start with the crafting table there we go now we get to fall all the way down here we still have a rabbit's foot and nether wart Meaning at some point we're probably going to be making a jump boost pot. I have bamboo on my head. Okay. A good thing I picked up on that as quickly as I did. 
Okay, yep, so it looks like this is where I get to make this potion. I might be missing a little bit for it. Uh, um, do we have anything hidden here? Well, okay then. Here we go again. Am I... Yo! Okay, glass bottle. Just like that. And six bamboo? I don't know what that does for me. I still need blaze rods. I need some blaze powder for the next room still. Okay, nothing all the way down. I wonder if there's a comparator looking for when you pull a bottle out of there. You know, I'll drink it. I'll drink. I'll drink this here and then. Okay, and it's gone. Oh, and it gave me blaze powder. Yes. Okay. And now we can make our jump potion. No, th th it does a good job of making you feel smart when you do the right thing. Even if it took me so many tries <laughs> to do the right thing. There it is. Now these do give you two blocks of height, right? No, no, they do not. I might have been a little hasty with that. Okay, so I just went and looked at the page again, and it looks like there's a, a very prominent comment that I did not read about having to play on 1.18.2 so that the potion of leaping works. I'm not dumb, I just didn't read the correct version to play on. I will be right back. All right, we're loading back into the same world in 1.18. And that one simple change should do the trick. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. Okay, this seems like a simple enough thing to do. Make a scaffolding. Can I break that? I don't think so. So is this like a block clutch I got to do? Okay, okay. I've never done a scaffolding block clutch. I think you just need to place it and hold shift. I'm fairly sure that's all you got to do. But now I get to make it all the way back around. Okay, so we're back. According to the internet, you just have to block clutch while holding shift. Um, okay, th this might prove difficult. All right, so it's gotten so bad that I have had to come create my own test world to see if I'm just bad at scaffolding clutching. Let's take a peek. So I'm starting to get the feeling you don't hold shift. But if you don't hold shift, maybe you gotta tap shift when you place. It seems to be very hit or miss.
See, because that time I just held shift and it worked. Okay, okay. I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. All right, I think I got this. Yes! Oh, I did it! Oh, that only took like a hundred tries! <laughs> oh, I did it! All right, what's next? That was it! <laughs> I died like a hundred times on that clutch just for... <laughs> Oh no! I mean, I'm glad I won, but oh man, that was incredibly painful. And the worst part is, there's a sequel to this map that's meant to be several times longer and much more difficult. So I'll be taking that one on soon. Hopefully not so many scaffolding clutches in that one. Holy, I don't know why it was so difficult. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this one. I'll be back with the next one soon.